So I was planning on maxing Chingcha, but I think instead we're gonna do this. <laughs> Just to give you a little preview of what we're working with, I'll show you all the builds later, but I wanted to see how far we can push Herta in the newest Pure Fiction. We all know what she's capable of, and I'm pretty sure <laughs> she's been carrying everyone for the last like four months or so. We're gonna do this with no sustain, and I already ran this team one time, but Tengyun was on life support the entire time and then got slammed, so... Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I don't know what it is, but for some reason I feel like enemies are always going for her throat, but... Anyway, we want to start strong here, so I actually gave Ranmei two-piece Vonwax so she can get her field down before her to attacks. Because of the buff, we definitely want to be alting as much as possible on Herda, so Tingyun's kind of a must here. I know not everyone has Ranmei or Sparkle, so if you want to run, you can run Branya instead of Sparkle and either Asta or Hanya instead of Ranmei. But we have all our buffs here except for Cypher, which is Sparkle's ult. Let's see how much damage we do. <laughs> for 300k, blows everything up. Keep in mind though that this is with the 100% increased damage from the Pure Fiction buff that we chose, but still, hitting like 200k skills even with Ronmei's breaks is pretty ridiculous and just fun to see. I don't know if I should have ulted here, but I'm trying to be as energy efficient as possible because we're getting it a lot from defeating enemies and Tingyun of course, and it also advances us forward. The other thing that we can afford to do is skill more on Ranmei and Tingers. Just helps them get their ults faster and Tingyun also has Dance 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 so that's even more action advancing for the team. We haven't actually taken- well, I was gonna say we didn't really take much damage yet, but oh no. <laughs> I think we'll be okay, we just need to not get hit anymore on Ting- she's on the side too so she doesn't get hit with any blast attacks, I don't know if- I guess Japard Slam is the main one, but it's looking kind of dicey because she's already pretty low and she's about to take a tick of bleed. Yeah. The nice thing is, if you look at the left side, we haven't used a cycle yet thanks to all of our action advancing, so we're good on time for sure. We got a big turn coming up. <laughs> 200k, little spin into an alt. She's gonna be able to spin again here. 400k and then 350. <laughs> that entire sequence was something over a million, I'm, I think. God, I love Herta. Luckily, our sparkle's pretty thick. She has over 5k HP and a lot of defense as well, so I'm not really worried about her taking any damage. Same with Ronmei. But no! <laughs> I think we're still fine because we're already this late into the fight, but <laughs> I feel like I cursed it. Yeah, we're chilling, but come on. <laughs> if they ever release a Harmony Light Cone that decreases the aggro of the holder, I'm 100% putting on her. Even though there's Fushuan, even though there's shields, I'm... that thing is going to live on her. <laughs> Also, I just realized that attack that Japar just did wasn't a blast, it's completely AoE, so it would have hit Tingyun regardless. <laughs> Let's slow this down so you can see Japar getting absolutely flattened. And there we have it. Two cycles. Tingyun made it out of the fight. Alive. <laughs> Let's take a look at their builds. We have a solid 70 206 ratio on Herda with an ice damage orb using Jingyuan signature. We just max out her talent and she's on four piece Grand Duke and two piece Izumo because I have good substats for those. But because we didn't have another erudition character that's pretty much just effectively 12% attack without the crit rate, <laughs> it's okay though. Tingyuan, very squishy. Um, like almost no health at all. Probably need to get the Light Cone at 80, that would be a good idea. She definitely carries a lot of the sustainless runs just by giving your carry all the energy. I usually have her on Cogs or Memories of the Past though. This one was just more specific to pure fiction. Ranmei, aside from the high speed, there's nothing else that's really crazy about her build. She has E1 with her signature. 
Um, she has Von Wack for that first alt before Herda gets to attack. One character that I have been meaning to build is Gallagher, and I'll get to work on him. I think he's actually really interesting as a breaker and healer at the same time, so maybe we'll do something like that or with his crit build. Should be fun. Uh, I also need to build Misha, don't I? I've just been stuck in Relic Farming Hell, but whenever I get out, I'll <laughs> get to work on these guys. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.